So the CEO for Carl's claims that um, if the minimum wage goes up, then he'll have to replace all of his workers with robots. Which is, you know, probably going to happen anyways. But what percentage of his cons of his customers does this guy suppose works in the service industry? So he's saying he wants to, you know, replace all his workers with robots. Well, if he does that and his competitors do that and the grocery store across the street does that, in fact, if the whole mall does that, then who is it that he expects will buy his product? The robots aren't going to buy his product. And so this is unsustainable, okay? It's not so bad, though. I'm not a capitalist. It would not upset me if capital did things that would collapse itself. And so I'd be foolish to argue for the tremendous force of capital. I mean, just because it's stupid from their own perspective doesn't mean they won't do it. That's how we got into this mess in the first place. Let's be real about the choices. Okay, we can maintain the status quo where people do shitty work for shitty wages while the bosses get rich. That's how things are. Right? So they say, you know, don't raise the minimum wage or we might have to change the way that things are. That's a scary threat, right? Or we can let the CEOs destroy the economy through automation, then figure out how to deal with 40% unemployment caused by overwhelming automation. And that's what's going to happen, right? I have an idea about that, too. Maybe we could take ownership of the machines in common. Wow. And instead of some boss owning the productive capabilities and handing us out a wage, we could just set the machines in motion and enjoy being unemployed. I know, that's crazy. What do you think, that it's a fifth of the way through the 21st century or something? We'll have to wait into the future, after the year 2000, for something like that.